So now we are back again from um, the previous um, tutorial and this time around we are going to be looking at um, the dashboard and then the interface of um, in lab school management system. So the first thing we have is um, our uh, this in, nav bar, our navigation bar which is here and then on my navigation bar I have the name of the school on the left and then I have um, a menu button I can collapse uh, my navigation button here and then I also have um, my academic years which are displayed here. I currently have only two academic years and then um, 2017 to 2018 is the default one and I have 2018 to 2019 and then I also have a um, notification that I can view here and then I also have languages about 14 languages that we have here so you can switch to any language of your choice so depending on your country then we have um the user that is currently logged in um, image and then username um, full name displayed here with profile and then a password reset and then a logout button then we also have the navigation bar here too and then the navigation bar contains some um, the picture your full name and then your role as um, admin of the database they have um, a button to hit to come back to the dashboard and we have a button for students parents teachers users academic attendance exams max message media um, mail and then sms and then library um, transport um, hostel accounts announcement report um, visitors and then um, administrators um, administrator and then we have um, system settings to as well so um, that is um, an, on the dashboard we have a um, total number of students which is zero total number of parents zero total number of teachers zero subjects is zero and then um, 2018 accounts summary which we haven't entered anything yet and then I have a small profile of myself here and then I have um, students attend uh, attendance um, graph here too as well then we have notice we have sites as um, statistics we have a calendar to as well so that is the interface and the dashboard of um, in lab school management system all right so we'll break here and then we'll come back then we'll look at how to set up our um, in-lab school management system and then we proceed.